Hi, welcome to the uh, second vidcast for September 2010. I'm going as usual to look at the seven finds uh, which I've included in the blog. Um, the first find is a, a danger sign generator. It's something that uh, administrators may want to use when they need signs for events, learning environments or elsewhere. If you go on to the website which is www.dangersigngenerator.com it gives you a couple of samples. If you scroll down as I've just done, uh, this is your starter for step one. You can choose from the pre-made messages there or you can just click on custom text and message. There are various um, signage that you can find in here. Let's take the English pound symbol. And what will happen is it then takes you into the second part. You'll notice that the English pound sign is already in the sign and if you scroll down you now have a choice of changing the text at the top here, the title text, to whatever text you want. Um, you can choose the size of the font, what f font it's going to be in, what colour the um, text is going to be, the colour of the background, etc. The message, which is this part, put in whatever words you want here, you're the boss. The message, you just type into this area. And again, you can choose the font size, what font you're going to use and what colour. And uh, adjust the message by shifting it up and down, left, right and so on. The message white, the background colour and so on. And when you're happy, just click make sign and... Uh, it comes up. Now you'll notice that when you do that the whatever text required is just way way too big here. So you need to change the font obviously to bring it down in size. Let's go from 50 down to 26 and then you have to make the sign again and you can see the sort of position uh, and that's what you do and then when you're happy of course you can you get the HTML code to embed or you can download the image itself uh, and save it. So that's the, the first find today. Just um, close that. Um, hang on a sec. There we go. Okay, second find is uh, just a, an article really which I think you may find of interest. It's from Pew Internet. Uh, and American Life Project. Uh, the website, when you go onto it, has an article about the the change in numbers who are actually accessing uh, social networking. The interesting things here being 88% increase in internet users between the ages of 55 and 64, and 100% increase amongst the 65 and older group. The website itself um, when you go on to it, you can read the full article and the data, etc., that is involved. Um, the website has been at the top of this uh, vidcast since we started. Okay, the third one, and I apologise about this, I just couldn't resist it. I know it's silly. If you go on to the website, this is what you end up with. Here we go. Need to turn the volume down a bit, I think. Okay, uh, basically all you need to do here is to click on the different things. Doing aerobic at the moment. Okay. Okay, I'm go <laughs> going to stop it there. Um, as you can see, it's very silly. I couldn't resist the temptation. And if you really want to see somebody making a fool of himself, if you click on this link, there we go. I bet not many of you thought you'd see this. Wait for it. Okay, the uh, fourth find today is from the RSA Animate. Um, 
David Harvey asks if it's time to look beyond capitalism towards a new social order that would allow us to live within a system that could be responsible, just and humane. It's based on a lecture given at the RSA. You can go on to their website, and I'll look at that in a minute, because there's a, the, the next find is looking at more of their videos. But I do like this video very much indeed. Um, and it's done with an animation behind the talk. You might hear the thunder in the background. Here we go. Right, here we go. Okay, so we've uh, been through this crisis and uh, there are all sorts of uh, explanatory formats out there and it's interesting to look at the different genres. One genre is that it's all about human frailty. I mean, Alan Greenspan took refuge in the fact it's human nature, he said, you can't do anything about that. Okay, as you can see from the video clip, it's a cartoon where it's uh, illustrating the talk itself. Uh, it's taking a little bit of time to load as I'm as uh, I'm playing it here in the um, vidcast. So go and have a look at it yourself. It's well worth having a look. That one's embedded within my blog itself. When I find a video clip like that, I go and have a look at the channel. And if you go to their channel, there are a whole series of videos that I'm sure many of you will find both interesting and useful within teaching and learning. The latest one being the 21st Century Enlightenment. The RSA site is www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash the RSA org. So well worth having a look at. The um, home page is uh, at www.thersa.org forward slash and the number of videos produced is quite amazing. Okay. The next thing may well be of interest to those of you who are contemplating video conferencing with uh, learners that are spread across the region and or the UK for assessment purposes or just for tutorials etc. Skype have in fact brought out a second beta of um, Skype 5. Uh, it brings a number of changes. I think it's uh, improved the interface. It's gone back to the more traditional one that was here uh, a couple of years ago. But not only that, it will allow you to have group video calls with up to 10 people. In other words, you can see the nine others who are on the call with you. If you go on to their website, that's... Um, no www, it's just blogs.skype.com forward slash en forward slash 2010 forward slash 09 forward slash 10 underscore way underscore video underscore calling dot html. And here you'll find out all about making group video calls with up to 10 people with this new version. The only thing I'll say to you is that they all need to have this beta version of Skype. It won't work with the existing one, so you do need to download it. We're going to have a play with it in more detail, and we may well produce a, a UNET um, vidcast for you to show how we got on. Um, the next one is Enlightenment, or Onlinement. Um, this one is, again, I suppose, linked in with video conferencing options. John Davey, one of our co my colleagues at RSC Northwest, came across this. Uh, it's called Conference Call Woes. Uh, and to see what I mean, just watch this uh, video clip or go to the uh, appropriate website. It's well worth watching the video clip. The website itself, good blog perhaps to, to follow. Um, the video clip is embedded in that as well, but it goes through uh, the sort of problems that you may come across doing video conferencing. And there is also a link as to how to overcome the sort of problems that are highlighted in the clip. So it's not all negative or just extracting the urine. That's all for this vidcast. Uh, see you again soon.